I've not long got up. This is my view in the mornings. And it is day 10. So guys, it's day 10 now of my caveman diet. <laughs> Starting to feel a bit like a caveman. I smell a bit like one. <laughs> um, it's been really good. I'll talk more about that in a moment. i just updating you. Day 10, I'm nearly there. Finish line is in sight. But is there a finish line? <laughs> Interesting, huh? And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to finish today with a cheat meal, with a treat meal. So I'm going to do, still doing my fast till 12 o'clock now this morning. And I'm going to have maybe a smoothie and a light meal. As my, I suppose my first two meals. And then my last meal this evening, or this afternoon, is going to be some tasty, naughty meal. <laughs> and that's exciting. And I will now be looking at incorporating, continuing this diet in a way, which I'll update you on in a little bit. So as I said, day 10 is here. I have just, I've had my smoothie. I have had some fish as a kind of lunch snack. I don't want to have too much because I'm going to have a big meal. It's my treat later. It's now 10 to 3. And in a few hours, I'm going to have my treat meal. And it's day 10 and I'm, I suppose, officially, soon anyway, finishing the 10 days eating like a caveman. It's not a monkey though, it's a caveman. <laughs> not far removed perhaps. Um, anyway, so let's talk about it. I want to talk about kind of what I've got from it, how I'm going to go forward with this based on what I've learned and what I felt, more importantly. How you feel, that's the key, right? So I haven't really done much updates the last few days, so I'll fill you in what's kind of changed and how I'm feeling compared to previous days. And as I told you, I started to kind of get rid of the cravings. And now the last few days, they've, they've almost disappeared. you still got that kind of mind. That's nice. I remember the taste of that. That looks pretty good. That smells pretty good. But it's not like your body's craving. I think that's because it's kind of got most, if not all, in a sense, probably all of it, out of my system. All those, all the kind of sugars, um, the saturated fats, those kind of things that your body kind of craves and is addicted to. And often uh, the quick ways to get energy, which is like the sugary foods and stuff, is quick release, glucose and whatnot. And I've been having like the non non starchy veg uh, starchy vegetables. Non um, I haven't been having the white kind of like potatoes. I haven't been on the carbohydrate side, the sugary carbohydrates basically, pasta, all those kind of things. Which again, they give you a, more of a quick hit because they're a bit more sugary. Not as much as like a, a sugar donut, <laughs> but in a sense they still do. Whereas the, the the leafy greens, the vegetables, the dense vegetables, and the meats and all that. It's a slow release in the nuts and all of that. Uh, apart from the fruit, that's a bit more quick release. But it's not quite the same. So I've been having more sustained energy. It has been more sustained energy. I feel more healthy. A big thing. So I gained all the... I feel healthier. I feel better. And a big thing, mentally, I feel better. I feel more disciplined. And I've tried to kind of do... I've done lots of different things. I do do lots of different things in a way. Um, like the cold showers. And you can sometimes... I'm not so routine with things now. But you have routine wake-ups and exercise and, and making a real a bit more strict routine which for me as a creative it can if it's too strict it can limit but it can make you more disciplined and more focused right and more productive now i find nothing more disciplined so far than doing this with food and i think that makes so much sense sugar is highly addictive isn't it all these own foods and the convenience we have the access to so much food all the time and a lot of it not good for us a lot of it's sugary and addictive or you know super tasty and it's so easy for us all. I got in a bit of that. Even though I'm relatively healthy, I go through phases where sometimes I get carried away a little bit. And you just it's so easy to just pick some stuff and not really be conscious of what you're eating. It's so easy. And when you're busy and moving around and stuff, just grabbing stuff, it can be quite tricky. And it can just be, without even really worrying, uh, being aware, like I say, conscious of it, you can eat a lot of random rubbish. And it can just, just it just takes over almost in a way that you don't really think about it. I think most of us don't really think about it. We just see food, stop, we choose that, do, do, do. So most of them are conscious about healthy, but then if you can carry it away, you're just constantly eating. So having that discipline with the fasting for the 16 to plus hours, like I said, I did sometimes up to 19 and one day I did up to 25, um, just as part of the experiment and if whatever felt right, I suppose, when I was going to eat. And that alone, so this means you're not going to eat then, and then only going to eat those certain types of foods, 
and the types of foods I had in particular meant that it was sometimes it was a bit boring, right? Sometimes, especially at the beginning, I wasn't getting those cravings from the sugar and all of that kind of stuff that I've been used to, and all the taste buds weren't quite tantalized. But as time went on, I enjoyed the foods more. I enjoyed my meals more. I appreciated the foods more. I felt healthier mentally, not just physically. And I started to enjoy the tastes more and more of simple things and started to get a bit more experimental with the cooking to make it tasty, I suppose, and more inventive and different. And I really enjoyed some of the wholesome food and the fruit was always so much sweeter because if you don't have so much sweet in your diet, which I'm not particularly anyway, so it wasn't a huge difference, but um, it was that little bit more, you really embrace that banana, those berries, you know. <laughs> Just thinking about it. So that was wonderful. And I loved a lot of the food. So it worked well. And actually, a couple of days ago, I started to think, oh, it'd be quite nice now to get a 10 day and have a treat. But then as the last two, well, yesterday, actually, I got excited. I mean, that's more mentally, though, because I was like, oh, it's nearly there, I can have a treat. But today and most of the last few days, it's been like, oh, I'm quite happy to continue like this. And that's interesting. But I do know from kind of research and what I feel in myself that treats now and again are very important for lots of reasons. But even health, not to constantly have things like this, but to boost the calories up and down, it can help with it to get the body moving well. Anyway, we'll talk about that now. <laughs> but, um, I'm really going to integrate this in. I'm really going to enjoy it later. And it makes you also, on that note as well, even though I say I don't really crave in a scent, I am excited for it. And there's part of me that kind of, you know, mainly in the mind, a little bit maybe in the body, craves it. And I want to really, and I'm really excited. It's coming off a party, like <laughs> of a, a momentous occasion. And I think that makes you appreciate more. If you just grab a chocolate and I chuck it in, not that I was particularly like that, but like in certain times of my life I have been, I know a lot of people are. And it's just, you're not really appreciating just eating it. And it's not just for calories. You don't even potentially feel like it that much, especially if you're out and about. Um, so it's just like making it really, you're really conscious of your food and you're really conscious of your health. And you're really conscious of enjoying those treats and they're more enjoyable because they're less often. You've got more around it mentally and sensationally in the mouth and all that. <laughs> so that's going to be really interesting. And I'm looking now, so... Let's talk about going forward. But before I talk about going forward, I just want to say, I recommend trying it. It's basically, basically based on a paleo diet. Um, I didn't video so much my food, but I'll video a bit more now as I'm eating and add that to it. So you'll be able to see some bits of my food now in this video to get some ideas. But like I, I think I might have said earlier in the video, but it was like kind of soups, broths, stew type things. It was kind of chicken breast or, or um, I did have a steak, I think, the one day fish a couple of times and often had a vegetables with it and sometimes um i had sweet potato i didn't have normal potatoes like i said I had sweet potatoes and some root vegetables and then some leafy greeny type vegetables as well i had a mix i tried to really mix up the vegetables for my own interest and taste but also for health right again different nutrients um sometimes mushrooms sometimes different things right and lots of different fruit and i have smoothies that would be full of fruit sometimes there'd be six different <laughs> types of fruit in my smoothie um and i have nuts and i started introducing nut butters in and I had a little bit of almond milk the one day just because there's a little bit left. But um, never apart from that. Um, and other than that, it was just like fruit, nuts. Yeah, that was about it. Like I say, a mix of vegetables and fruit, but that was about it. Um, yeah, I was looking to bring in all more meat. I try and have good quality meat in terms of like organic and like the free range of his chicken, all that kind of stuff. And... Like if you can get the best like grass fed, all these different things depending on which animal it is. But they fed, they fed the best and they looked after the best of wealth for the animals important to me. And then obviously what the animal eats, you eat in a sense. So if they kind of, and same with the vegetables. If the vegetables have kind of fertilizer used on them and the soils and whatnot, then part of that chemical comes into your body when you eat the vegetable, right? And the same with any kind of hormone things in the food, growth things in the, the animal's food, or if they're having not particularly healthy food, that'll affect the meat and that'll affect you. So it's important, so that's really important for me, and of course the health of the animals. Um, so I did go vegan at one point, but now I've kind of just introduced, and I'm still kind of working out, I suppose, a bit where I'm at with that, but I'm trying to eat as healthy as possible for me and, of course, for the animals. I would definitely suggest giving it a go, and not necessarily just doing like this, but I find that's a good way. It works for me to set a period, and then I can really clear the body out, get used to that, get familiar with that, get the discipline and the focus in a sense, focus as well, kind of full focus on it. And then I can kind of from that, which is what I'm going to do next is keep some of it going in a sense. This is the core of my diet, but bring other bits in the other bits that are healthy in moderation. So I'm going to bring in more carbohydrates, more of the sugary carbs. I'm going to have maybe, maybe like once a week, I'll have or a, hand, a few times a week, but I'll probably have a variety. So maybe like once a week pasta, once a week rice, you know, once a week potatoes. 
and so maybe three times three meals, evening meals a week, I have some carbs in them. They have a bit more saucy, maybe add a little bit more stuff. It's not like too unhealthy, but in moderation, it's good because it's really pure the diet I was doing. Um, but bring more of that in and treat days. So I'm going to bring a few little treats in on certain days. Simple things like a bag of crisps, maybe a bit of chocolate, like the, the naughtier treats, and just more like a, the, 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 the nut milks. I'm going to bring the nut milks things. I love nut milk. Um, I like a load of them. And I'm going to bring in maybe some like vegan, because I don't have um, dairy, or I rarely ever have dairy. Um, so I diet the, 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 the nut milks and the yogurts, that's what I'm trying to think of. Yogurt, so I might bring that in now and again, so it's kind of a little bit of a treat, but it's not particularly unhealthy in, in moderation. And then I'll bring in, like I say, the more treaty things, maybe a little bit kick some days. But it'll be set days, I'm going to do a few days, I'm looking at it anyway, I'm experimenting. But next week I'm going to try a few days clean, then I go into a day... We have mostly clean, but I have an evening meal, slightly treaty, just some carbs and a bit of sauce, maybe kind of, but it's still fairly natural completely. Um, and for the week, it's fairly natural, basically, just a few carb bits and maybe odd snacks I put on one or two days. Um, and then Saturday, I get an extra bit, a little bit extra treats. I have two healthy meals and one moderately healthy meal. So again, it just brings in some of the extra stuff, a bit tastier, but it's still a cook, home cooked meal kind of thing and moderately healthy. And especially in small amounts, like I say. And then Sunday's my do what I want day kind of thing. And I'm going to, with the idea of within reason, but I can eat kind of what I want. So I'm potentially going to eat one meal that's relatively healthy um, or one or two meals that are relatively healthy at least. Even if it's like a egg sandwich. We have some bread um, and some egg. Or it's... Ooh, good question. Get back to you on that. <laughs> or the unhealthier kind of options. Like it could be, you know, pizza, whatever. You know, whatever I feel like. I can make myself a burger and do that fairly healthy, but it's, yeah, it's not the same as it. Um, so just trying to always get the best quality generally, but the odd naughty treat meal where I maybe eat out or I get a takeaway or something, and that can be on a Sunday. And I try that out, and it's going to be quite disciplined in the first week, but I'm going to see and be flexible a little bit. But I just want the idea to be a lot of my food is the kind of stuff I've been eating now, with a few extra bits of carbs and a bit of extra odd bits and snacks and treats, and then some odd, real na odd naughtier stuff, it's like real naughty stuff, like once a week. Um, and I'll go from there. And I'll have more snacks, like I say. So Sunday I can eat what I want. So I can have some, quite a few snacks. Then I want cake, chocolate, crisps. Those are the kind of the main things I like. Especially a bit of crisps, <laughs> some chocolate. Um, not that I've missed them hugely, actually, funny enough. Because when the cravings start to go, it's amazing. But yeah, so that's the idea. I'm going to continue this. And I'll, I'll probably update you in the future. So keep an eye on the channel. I'll probably give a random update on my diet and how it's going. Or do something different. Or yeah, see what happens. But this channel is all about living true and sharing those lot of things. But there will be... For me, it's all about everything, mind, body and spirit, right? So there might be a little bit more mindset based or thoughtful kind of videos or spiritual type videos or even, like I say, more physical health videos where it would be some exercise um, or diet or that kind of stuff. It's be interesting because it's really important to me. I got a little bit back when I used to uh, work in gyms and I'm trained as a fitness instructor and a personal trainer. I've done a little bit of nutrition stuff, but uh, most of that's my own research, my own experimentation myself. Um, and I've done a lot of different activities. I'm outdoorsy, adventurous person. That's kind of physical, but it's also the mental and all of it and the spiritual with that. And same as my own personal development journey and all the different things I've done, jobs and travel. And yeah, just all the personal stuff. So that's why it's going to be a good mix. Because it's just me sharing my life and all the things that I think are important. I think it's important to have health in all, a wealth in all areas. So your health, your mind, your body, which is your health. <laughs> um, yes, your mind, your spirit. So you, you know, the spiritual stuff you saw. And... Um, all different things like relationships, family, friendships, hobbies, whatever you want to categorize them, um, your career, your job, your business, whatever that may be, it's important to have, be the, if it to be true to you and you to be really happy and really wealthy in all of those, all areas of your life, whatever that is for you. And on that note, I'm going to stop here. Stop. <laughs> in the name of love. Anyway, I'm going to stop there. I'm just going to finish up with comment below, guys. This one, especially for this one, for anyone really, it's so important. I love to, I love to have comments and kind of build a community, like I say, and you can learn from each other and connect together. But this one, I think, is really important. Let me know what you think about this. If you've got any questions about this, um, also if you've got, like I say, I'm no expert per se. I have certain qualifications for certain things, and most of the, but most of the diet stuff is from my own experience and and just try and error. And what works for me but um yeah feel free to give me a shout i'm happy to kind of offer some level or some advice or some way to point you in the right direction 
and also yeah if you've ever done it with these kind of things before what does work for you how you eat how healthy you eat if you want to eat healthier if you yeah whatever all around that i'd love to hear from you or just say hey <laughs> so yeah subscribe though subscribe as well hit that subscribe button hit the notification button as well so if you want to get updated on the videos so you know when they come in there'll be more like this and a array of others all about living your best life basically it's true to you it's full with joy you are at the top of your game in a beautiful way in a pure way that's right for you in all areas of your life just loving life right feeling completely aligned and on that note i've already said that <laughs> bye guys take care see you soon or you'll see me soon i guess it's more accurate